Hi, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, the city of Chattanooga says a big new mural of flying donuts is illegal. The owner of Coke's Bakery says the mural on the side of her storage building is art. But after the $11,000 mural was finished, a city inspector showed up. The inspector said it's illegal advertising and needs to go. A city sign ordinance says wall murals don't require permits unless they include commercial messages. But the painting doesn't have a name, any arrows, or prices. A fatal accident in Marion County wasn't discovered until 24 hours after it happened. Authorities say 62-year-old Linda Holcomb lost control of her vehicle Monday afternoon in Whitwell. The car went down a steep embankment on Mount Olive Road. And WRCB reports Holcomb was not wearing a seatbelt. Officials believe the cause of the accident may have been related to health issues. Police say a Tennessee man beat his girlfriend for 12 hours straight. Michael Price was arrested in Nashville on Sunday. His girlfriend told police the violence started when she asked to go home after a date. She says he kicked and punched her, dragged her through a parking lot, slammed her head against the pavement, took her clothes off, and then beat her from 9 p.m. Thursday until 9 a.m. Friday. Then he dropped her off at a hospital. Price has been charged with aggravated assault and false imprisonment. Murder charges have been dismissed against Twana Blair in the 1999 Valentine's Day triple killing. Blair had been arraigned on three counts of conspiracy to commit first-degree murder. The murder involved the deaths of O.J. Blair, Don Rogers, and Casey Higgins. But on Tuesday, Judge John Kerry Blackwood issued an order to dismiss the charges. A contractor overbilled TVA by more than $1 million. Comdata Network Inc. was in charge of issuing fuel cards to TVA staff, but the company submitted duplicate invoices worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. TVA says the overbilling went on for nearly two years. Ron Bishop, the founder of SCORE International, has died. Bishop was a preacher who also served as athletic director at Tennessee Temple University. He was a four-time national champion basketball coach. He developed pneumonia and died Monday at a local hospital. He was 68 years old. His funeral is set for 3 p.m. today at Parkway Baptist Temple. A former TVA executive who shipped money to Iran has been sentenced to two years probation. 59-year-old Masood Bajistani is an Iranian who became a U.S. citizen. Following his arrest, he was fired from his position as vice president in charge of completing the Watts Bar nuclear plant. His attorney says the $600,000 sent to Iran was intended to pay family medical expenses. Bajistani originally faced up to five years in prison for violating U.S. sanctions. Authorities say money for a bulletproof vest for a local police dog was donated just hours before the canine was shot and killed. Walker County Sheriff Steve Wilson says a motorcycle club handed him $850 for the vest. The dog named Tanja was shot Friday by Stephen Lee Waldemar when officers were attempting to arrest him on sexual battery warrants. A memorial service for the canine will be held at 11 a.m. Friday at the Walker County Civic Center in Rock Spring. A Chattanooga candy plant is cutting 95 jobs. Farley's and Sather's will no longer manufacture chocolate and maple nut products at its plant on Jersey Pike. Those items are moving to a plant in Illinois. It's the second major downsizing here by the company in recent years. Two years ago, the company closed its facility on Cummings Road, which employed about 200 people. An area commissioner was arrested on a domestic assault charge after a card game. Ray County Commissioner Grover Parks spent 12 hours in the county jail last week. Deputies arrested him in Spring City after an argument with his brother-in-law escalated. WRCB reports his mother-in-law tried to break up the fight but was reportedly pushed. Parks has since apologized. He says he's sure the arrest will affect his re-election but he also says he now fully supports building a new jail. Finally, a psychic business has been damaged by fire in Hickson. 
Authorities say a home that doubles as a psychic reading business caught fire Tuesday morning. A man was found sitting in a truck in the driveway. He was unresponsive. EMS transported him to Erlanger Hospital. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 94 degrees. The low tonight will be around 70. That's it for today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.